Hello everyone, it's me once again, Janice, Janice May, and today I am doing a tutorial on how to make this very nice pendant that is so versatile. You can use it with different uh, chains or ribbon um, and wear it as a choker or just as a long necklace. It's very pretty. So as I was making this, I thought that um, you might not be able to find the material, uh, particularly the pleather. This is called pleather that I'm using here. Uh, it's called uh, pleather cord because I've had this for a long time and I'm not sure if Michael's or any crafter sells that. Uh, kind of uh, of a finding. So I th I said I'm going to make a kit so that all the materials that I'm using here, including the saucers, I know the saucers. You can purchase this on my Etsy, and I think it's for fifteen dollars, and you will get ten. But this is beauty, beautiful, beautifully made, and it's the nice thing about the saucer is reversible. It's, it looks different on the other side. This one, not so much. They look similar somehow. So uh, so I thought I will make a kit. So this is just actually one kit because I would hate it that uh, you would like to make this but you don't have the materials available. And so as I was making the kit, I started including other stuff with it. So uh, this is, uh, I call this uh, beading in a nutshell because your kit will come with inside this uh, coconut shell. Uh, this is actually uh, from the Philippines, this coconut shell. And, and I like that um, this is uh, from the coconut tree, from the Philippine coconut tree. And actually somebody climb the tree, take out the coconut, take out the meat inside it, and clean it, and polish it. So a lot of work went into making this. So it's unique. Anyway, so this, the kit will come with the six saucers. So you will get um, different ones because just like a box of chocolate, you don't know what you're gonna get because of the magazine colors. Okay, so there you are. So you will get, in this kit, you will get six saucers. You will get the pleather cord that will make six um, pendants. Um, you will get the small round beads that I use for this here embellish it and the little seed beads and um, because I have all these things that is um, left over from my when I do my show when I do my JTV show so I'm including it in this kit but these are really really nice so this is the buildable and these are little round beads connected again this is made by the women in the Philippines connected using a non-tarnished wire so it goes like this so if you are using this with this pendant that's how it will look and this comes with it so, just as a warning though, there is no instruction that comes with this. You will be relying on this video. I'm very bad at writing instructions. <laughs> and it also comes with this pink cord. Okay? Like so. So, that's pretty as a choker. And you see me, my picture in the beginning of the video me wearing it using just a piece of yarn so okay let's get to work so what you need are everything that's on here you need the saucer bead 
you need the pleather cord you would need at least like two feet of it so just about two feet okay and you need the saucer bead so let's choose this one or maybe this red one is pretty okay I hope I have enough time to do this so first what you do is if you see the hole sometimes they are not big enough or or not rounded enough so I will just take my round nose and just kind of go through the hole like this okay so then you will take your cord and leave about this is about six or eight inches I mean I mean when you when you fold it together and have this go through the hole of your bead there should be this long tail and there should be the short one the short one is about eight inches okay so you would <clears throat> double it up like that and have it go through the hole I'm have I have to choose another one that is a bigger hole. Well, your kit, <clears throat> I will make sure that the bead that you're going to get or the beads you're going to get have a big enough hole. Okay? So Come on. There you go. Okay? So, and then you would just put the two strings through this loop that you just made. Okay. So now you have this. So that's the green side and that's the red side. So this is a really pretty, pretty uh, pattern. So, and then what you need to do next is I just put my finger like this. So that will be how big my loop is. So you decide you want a smaller loop or a bigger loop. I'm sorry, my iPad uh, quit on me. So now we have this and we're going to be making the bail for this pendant. I will make the loop by just putting it around my finger. Get to take the two strings and wrap it around the neck of your bail. Okay, like so. And then I will have the two strings go through here the one that's uh, the one that is around the neck of your bail okay put it through here and the other one and then you pull it pull each one separately tighten it. The pleather is very easy to work with. It's so soft and pliable. So now you have this. So what we're going to do next is you take the longer tail and wrap it around this bale. Okay. So I'm just going to take it around and then start 
wrapping it. You can you can leave it like that, but I like the look when the pleather is wrapped around your loop. It can be tricky in the beginning. Just hold it down with your other finger. Okay, so far you have that. You can bring it down like that. So like I said, it's going to be tricky starting it. So let me wrap the rest. So I'm almost uh, to the end now and I just keep on wrapping. I think three more wraps. Sorry. One more. Which reminds me, it's Easter today, so happy Easter to those who celebrate Easter. Okay, so to end this, I'll take that string and tie the two together like a double knot so or a square knot sorry like so it's one and then one more and just pull it so now you have this okay so what we're gonna do with these two strings we're gonna be making this putting beads Okay, that is how we're going to end this. So just take like a, a seed bead. Okay, a bigger hole seed bead. And then a paper bead. Let me choose nice red one okay the hole is not big enough okay. and then another seed bead And then just make a knot at the end. It's kind of 
decorative, okay? So, and then cut it, there we go, do the same thing to the other one. Uh, not to worry, I'm going to make sure your kit has the bigger whole seed bead. Or I'm just not seeing the holes. I need better glasses, obviously. So here we go, finally got that done and do the, you, you can choose whatever bead you want to put in here, but that's the whole idea. This is how I want to end this, okay? So I'm obviously all thumbs today, but finally get it done, just tighten it like so. And, <clears throat> sorry, there you have it. So, there's your pendant, okay? And it's reversible. And you can put whatever you like. I even have this silk ribbon. Would also be nice. It kind of pick up that little pink on the little round bead there. So, you can wear it long, you can wear it as a choker, and there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, by the way, go to the description for the link if you want to get the kit for this. Thanks for watching.